Do you charge? And boom. It's a lot of fun. It's gonna be insane for Nightmare Dungeon. It's gonna be insane for everything, man. Hey everybody, this is the Charge Dust Devil version. So all you do in this build is you charge and boom. <laughs> uh, it's insane. I mean, it's probably gonna get tuned down, but uh, it's a lot of fun. So the, the synergy is basically whenever you charge, you become unstoppable. And when you become unstoppable, you trigger Tybert's Will, giving you 50 Fury. And then we just scale all that with the... Um, after generating 100 Fury, you spawn Dust Devils. And you guys can see here, this Dust Devil thing is going completely insane. Um, you can like rock anything, like all you need to do literally is just press charge. <laughs> it kills everything. Let's see so your charge creates the Dust Devil, like where you land. We see on a single monster here, so... Okay, they also keep multiplying themselves, but... Um, yeah, it's basically all you do, it's like you charge. And I made a version without Dust Devils in the description below, but I think they're not gonna remove Dust Devils. Maybe they're gonna nerf it a bit, but it's still gonna be strong. You see here, monsters, you charge, boom! It goes crazy, I didn't even press anything else. Like, literally all you need to do... It's charge. It might need a minor tune. This is probably gonna be the fastest build in the game as well. Like you, you know, you just run, you charge, and everything dies as you run. Probably gonna be a good leveling build for the next season as well. It's gonna be insane for Nightmare Dungeon. It's gonna be insane for everything, man. Whenever you miss your charge because you didn't hit an enemy, you can just press your shouts and get it back. This just creates an ungodly amount of twists. Because, like, you know, it generates... Um, when you generate 100 Fury, it spawns Dust Devils. The thing is, we get 50 from charge. But this is multiplied with our resource generation. And we have a bunch of resource generation. So um, we are getting more than 100 Fury every time we charge. So all we do is, like, we just see monsters, charge. Boom. It goes completely crazy. But also what we can do... Is, let me see here when we, we we don't even need to attack like if there's a monster here like we just go in the middle <laughs> they just <laughs> procs twisters man because uh, we have one in each of the thorns passives and whenever we kill enemies we generate fury and when they hit us we generate fury as well so um, not only is this a great speed build but it can also be like a super chill AFK build you know like you just stand in the middle don't press any buttons and uh, it kills everything <laughs> Okay, this is uh, pretty much the build. I'm gonna go over the setup in a second here. But yeah, let's just do... Um, okay, more monsters, sure. Let's just do a quick pit. See, see, this is just a chain reaction. I'm not even attacking, man. Everything just dies. Let's go in the pit real quick. See how it's gonna, uh, you know, do in the pits. <laughs> I need some... Uh, Need some new attack here with those twisters, man. Just charge the enemy, man, and this is gonna be like insane speed run. Is what I'm thinking. So this is hardest pit, 200, and we just go charge around a bit. It's gonna be lit, man. Charge twister and dust devil. I mean, even if they nerf the dust devils by a bit, this is probably gonna be still, you know, an insane fun build. So. And yeah, we just start the run and you know, like, we start casting our twisters and you see they kill everything. Oh yeah, we should also spend some fury with our kick. That's why we have kick, it makes stuff vulnerable. And it also um, helps us with uh, generating enough fury for Wrath of the Berserk. Yeah, that's pretty much the build, like you just go around. And you charge it and the twisters will, will like, kill everything in the back. The idea is also to play ahead of the Twister at this point. So you see like the progress, it just keeps going because we spawn so many Twisters with our charge. And see here these? They will all die, like you don't have to worry about them. Okay, spend some Fury. Kill these. Like it's gonna spawn so many Twisters, it's completely insane. Whenever we charge, it's gonna spawn like even more Twisters. Because we go unstoppable like for a split second and we just generate a bunch of fury. But you can see here, like, we just like drive in the bus. Okay, with channeling, it also gets uh, pretty nuts. So we're just driving the bus through these monsters. And you know, they just all melt. And here we have the boss. And similar story. 
is going to be on the boss. On the boss, we actually want to hit him with charge. I missed him with one charge there. But yeah, that's pretty much the build, my friends. And um, yeah, one of the best builds in the game. And probably one of the fastest leveling builds. Again, because you just need <laughs> you just need to charge, man. And uh, boom, it goes crazy. So yeah, um, press some buttons, go charge. Have some fun with this build. And um, we'll see what's going to happen with it. Let's go over it. So we are rocking Harlequin's Crest, we are rocking Juggernauts. And, and you don't need this Uber Unique. Like, this is the only Uber Unique we have in this build. And probably it's better to play like a normal helm with, with double cooldown reduction and shock. Because the normal helms have more cooldown than Shako, actually. And yeah, these four ranks, they don't even help your twisters. So you don't need a Shako at all. Um, you can play Numbing Wrath, actually. This is probably what I'm going to have in my planner. Numbing Wrath is going to be better for this. Um, so this helm, but uh, put Numbing Wrath instead of Might. Um, then we are rocking Juggernauts here for uh, defense. We are rocking Elements as a generic multiplier. Tybert's Will here to generate a Fury. Really important for the charge synergy because we become unstoppable with, when we charge. Um, and it also has a nice synergy with, Ty with Ramal Aldis because we are dual wielding. Um, then we are playing Boots here with Charge, Charge Cooldown, um, Fierce Winds and Chance for Dust Devil. And then we have Dust Devil Size and we scale DPS with our Size. And we scale it with Ramalaldis at max fury. You see, we have 282 fury. You could have more than 300 if you like triple crit, you know, on the maximum resource everywhere. And actually, on a on a normal helm, see, we also have resource. And then in Shako, we can't have resource. So actually, Shako is not even recommended for this build. Like you want to play this with Numbing Wrath. Um, then we have a Devilish here. This is the one that basically enables the build. Um, Beer Clan, this one just gives our um, charge even less cooldown. You can play any anything else that you want, but uh, this one is pretty cool. You can also play Edge Master or something. Um, then we have Balls Chieftain and we have Ancestral Charge on the Amulet. And this is pretty much the combination. 200x Expertise and then this is the skill tree. So just unlock core section, um, shouts, all the defensive stuff. We use Kick to dump our Fury or Wrath the Berserk. Um, we attack with a Mace. So we want to have one mace and one Ramalaldis in our hands. And um, yeah, then just uh, fortify multipliers and some close damage and movement speed. And that's pretty much the build, guys. We'll see what they'll do with this uh, Dust Devil. But this is another cool way of playing Charge Dust Devil. So much fun. And probably one of the best leveling builds for the next season because the synergy is just so crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in season 4. Let's go! If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.